In today's Blender tutorial, we're gonna be looking at something really fun, and that is how to make some simple grass, pretty much just using an image texture that we find on the internet. And um, it kind of works really well because using an image of some grass, we kind of get this natural sort of color gradient that kind of runs throughout the particles, adding to more of the realism here. So this is really, really simple. It's all within Blender. It's just a simple particle system. We'll be tweaking around with the settings. I'll show you some different effects, like getting a more finer looking grass and then getting this sort of result, which is a bit more of a rougher looking grass. But you can see it's just a ton of fun messing around with this. Um, so yeah, a fun little beginner tutorial. You'll be easily able to make some grass. So let's jump in and I hope you enjoy. So really, one of the simplest ways you can get a nice sort of texture base for your grass is to simply just go to Google Images or whatever search engine you want and just type in grass and then get just sort of like a picture, kind of like a bird's eye view of some lawn. For example, something like this or, you know, just take a screenshot of some grass from a video. It doesn't have to be um, very high resolution or anything. It's just to kind of give us a bit of color information really for our particles to kind of base their color on, right? So what we're gonna do then is once you have an image, you're gonna go ahead, just put it somewhere like on your desktop. For me, I just put one that I had on my desktop. And um, what we're gonna do, it's really quite simple. Once you're inside a Blender, you can start by just maybe getting rid of the default cube, just press delete when you select it. And then Blender has a really cool option. You can go Shift A, and then you can just go here under empty. You'll see something here that says image which is not something people use very often, but if you actually come in here, you can go here and get a mesh plane. And then you can go to wherever you've placed an image on your computer. In this case, I have this grass JPEG and I'm gonna go import images as plane. And now you can see here, here it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go R, Y, nine, zero, and I'm gonna hit enter. And if you go Z and you go into your material preview, you can actually see the grass here. We wanna actually go into edit mode we want to make sure that we go over here to our um, mesh overlays and we just want to enable the normals. And at the moment, this little blue line is pointing down. We want it to be pointing up. So we're just going to go Alt N and recalculate outside. And if that doesn't work, you can just go Alt N and just press flip. And now the normals are base facing up. So I'm just going to also with all of this selected, I'm just going to go Control R, add a loop in the middle select all of it and I'm just going to right click and go subdivide. This is optional, but this way, if we give it some subdivision, right, we can actually now, and I'll just quickly turn off the normal overlays. We can come here with our proportional editing and we can kind of just edit this a little bit and make it a little bit more uneven. So grass plane doesn't look like perfectly flat. Okay. Now that's just something you can do optionally. But now that you have a piece of grass, the really fun part here is to go to your particles, click here on plus, click on hairs, and then you wanna come here to the hair length and just kind of drag it down like so. And I'm gonna go something like this. And for now I'll go Z and just go into solid view anyway. So here we have some grass particles. And the first thing you wanna do is go to your render, enable B spline and then go to your viewport display and under your viewport display, set your strand steps to free and then simply go to your children and click on interpolate it. Now for each one of these 1000 number up here of particles here, each one of them is gonna um, represent 10 particles in the display. And over here you can have a hundred, right? In the render. So the render is gonna look a lot more dense than the current viewport display. But what we can do now is we can go over to our roughness and we're gonna come here and let's start by giving it a random value here. Okay, now the grass is already starting to look a bit better. We also wanna come here to the end point and increase that value and that's gonna make them go a little bit more side to side. And then come here to uniform and just drag that slightly like so. Okay, that's really, really cool. Um, and then we can come here. First of all, let's just come to our render settings actually. I think this would be good. We're gonna change it from EV to cycles. And then we're gonna come here to our max samples under the render. And I think 45 should be fine, especially if you have denoising enabled. And then um, let's see, we have our camera here, right? Now this imported quite small. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go S and just scale it up. So it's a bit bigger. And you can see here, this is what's happened. So I'm just gonna go control A and I'm gonna apply that scale. And then I'll quickly simply go to my particles in this case. 
And I'll just increase that hair length a little bit. And um, if it comes down to it, you may just need to go down to your children and go under the roughness and just kind of tweak these settings a little bit more, okay? But I wouldn't go too crazy of it. Just want a little bit of random variation. We're then gonna select this light over here. We're gonna go to our light object data properties. For the light, let's make it an airy light. And um, let's just take the size here and take it up. So I'm gonna go five meters and I'm gonna go Z and go rendered. And there we have it, some nice lighting. So, um, you know, bump the strength up to whatever you want. But I'm gonna go into my camera view and I'll just kind of position the camera just to kind of look on like this. There we go, something like this. And let's now go render and render the image. And there we have a render. Now this looks a little bit, almost too much like fur to me. Um, or it just looks like really fine grass kind of blowing in the wind. But it's really easy now at this point just to come back to your particles if you want to. You can always mess around with the length. You can always come here and under your roughness, you can kind of just mess around with some of these settings if you want. Um, but it's completely up to you at this point. Another thing you can try out is the hair shape. Um, you work with the diameter, so you can bump the root diameter up so it looks a little bit thicker and you can give the tip a value as well. And just, let's just quickly go ahead now and render that and try that out as well. And there you can see, just by making it a little bit thicker and making it a bit longer, we're making it look like a little bit of a more hardier, tougher kind of grass. And um, that's just how fun it is because there's not really any one type of grass out there. There's a lot of different varieties. So being able to tweak these different settings can really kind of make that sort of effect you're going for look more, um, more like the variety you're aiming for. So you might go like for more finer grass, like in a previous example, or more thicker grass. But you can also see just having that grass texture underneath really adds a sort of this sort of natural color gradient throughout the grass, which I think really adds a bit of extra realism to this as well. So yeah, this is a fun way of making some quick and easy grass in Blender. I really hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.